Hey guys, it's Mr. White and today we're going to talk about photography. And the reason that I teach photography in a video class is that all photography really is, is just extremely slow videography. And there are things that are easy to teach one frame at the time versus as I'm trying to teach you how to shoot, how to compose, how to act, how to do all of those things. If I teach you photography, then those other things just kind of come natural when you get a video camera in hand. Um, photography is defined, the art or practice of taking and processing photographs. The processing photographs, uh, it used to mean a dark room, lots of liquids that smelled and probably caused cancer and all of those things. Now it's Lightroom, it's Bridge, it's Photoshop. That's what photography processing has become uh, in, in recent years. Now there are three types or four types of uh, cameras. The first is an SLR and that's SLR stands for single lens reflex. Uh, basically inside the camera there's one lens. It all goes from there. Don't worry about that right now. The second kind of camera is the DSLR. Same concept except it's digital. Single, an SLR, single lens reflex camera, works on film. So DSLR is digital. That's primarily what you find today. Uh, it's kind of hard to go and buy an actual film camera uh, just in general market. Everybody's doing digital now just because of the ease. Now, one of the newer style cameras on the market is an SLT. Uh, Sony is kind of leading the way in that with their uh, Alpha series. And what so SLT stands for is single lens translucent, meaning that the shutter doesn't move. Um, and so it's a silent thing. Uh, the verdict's still out on that. I don't personally like it. If it doesn't move, then the light has to go through somewhere and the light goes through the lens, so you lose light. Crazy stuff that you'll find out about much later and as you get more advanced. And then finally, um, point and shoot cameras, basically exactly what it says. You hold the camera up, you take a picture, it's done. There's no real magic. Everything is inside the, inside the camera. That's what your cell phones, your iPads, your Kindles, all those, basically everything that just has multi for purpose, doesn't have a detachable lens, any of that stuff is going to be a point and shoot. So, um, <clears throat> Let's talk about how a camera works, and I'm walking off so I can cue um, the, the screen here. Now, how a camera works according to Mr. White. Now, I have some different theories. Uh, I am a simple person. You guys know this by now. One of the things that um, I like to do is simplify things to, to ways that we can all understand them. So, first things first, <clears throat> everything you see reflects light. Dark means there's no light. So if you see a black box, it's just reflecting black light or a blue screen is reflecting or projecting a blue light. That's a very key concept to understand because all photography and videography is in terms of, of hardware and cameras is light and how you manipulate and work that light to do what you need to do. So <clears throat> here is the big, uh, big camera and right here, uh, our parts of the camera. We're going to work on an SLR today. So in here is your shutter. This is your lens, your body, and up here would be um, your trigger release or your shutter release. Now, the way to, to think about how photography works over here is a pretty happy tree. Okay. And what we want to do is take a picture of that tree. Now the key to making this get into here is light. Obviously if there's no light you can't see the tree and the camera can't see the tree. So the, the idea is that this tree is reflecting light into the camera. So the, the camera now has the light coming in comes into the lens. Now inside the lens are, is a thing called the aperture. And the thing to understand about the aperture is it's kind of like it's a door for the light. Obviously the black area is parts where light can't go through. So this allows a lot of light in, whereas this a little bit of light. That's inside the lens and if you hear someone talk about f-stops or you know, how fast the lens is or things like that, it's referring to the aperture. So an f1.4 is a large aperture hole, okay? It allows a lot of light in. So the lower the number, the higher the light. The higher the number, the lower the light. You have to keep that in mind 
because there are times where that's important. When I'm shooting a football game, I'm not going to shoot at an F-16 because it's going to allow just a little bit of light. I'm not going to be able to get my people to stop in motion. There's going to be that blurring and all of that stuff. I'm going to open it wide up, open, and then adjust the shutter, which we'll talk about in a minute. So <clears throat> back to our big camera drawing. So we're going to put the aperture here. And I got a big wide open aperture. So the light's coming through. All right. Now the lens. The lens main focus is to control and focus the light. So right here, you guys have seen the lens and you've got the lens rings out here to where people adjust it. And you, you always, anytime you see someone making fun of a photographer, they're doing this. Well, that's because they're mimicking focusing the lens. Now, all it does is it takes all the light and channels it right to, towards the aperture and in, in, in the goal of getting it into focus and in through the aperture. Now, nice big aperture. That's a, We'll go at F2, sounds like a good one to go to. So the light comes in and hits this blue box. And this is the shutter. And on the back of the shutter is a mirror. And the reason that that's there, the reason the shutter is there first off is to prevent light from getting back here to the, to the sensor, which we'll talk about in a minute. But it also, with that mirror, allows the light to be focused up and bounced off of mirrors here so that you can see through the viewfinder. As a photographer, here is a test on how I know whether or not you are at least educated on photography. If you're holding the camera out like this and you're taking pictures through the viewfinder, through the LCD viewfinder instead of the optical viewfinder, I'm going to consider you less professional. So if you see, if I see you using a DSLR and you're holding it out using the, op, the digital viewfinder, I'm going to make fun of you. So the, the shutter serves two purposes. The first is to block the light from the sensor. The second is to reflect it up and around and out the viewfinder. <clears throat> so again, after the lens, the light hits the shutter. Now the way that a camera works is that it wants to send light. You want to get light, as much light and as quick and as accurately as possible to this sensor. And I'm gonna talk later about the sensor. I have a theory on how that works that makes it very simple to understand. But right now, just know that this big blue area here is the sensor. And if the light gets there and it's focused, you will have a great picture of a tree. If the light doesn't get there because the shutter is down or there's too much light or too little light, your picture is not going to come out the way you want it to. So things to keep in mind as you are preparing to learn about photography, you always want to make sure you have the light focused and at the right level. So in review, everything is a reflection of light. Everything that you see is a reflection of light. Everything that goes into the front of the camera goes, or goes into the camera goes through the lens. Let me shut my shutter here. Okay goes into the lens and inside the lens is the aperture. The aperture limits the light so you have a low f-stop number which allows a lot of light in or a high f-stop number which allows a little bit of light in. Very rarely, unless I'm doing just still portraitures, do I ever really get um, past 10 or 12 because most of what I'm filming, most of what I'm shooting are events and sporting events and that kind of stuff so I need a lot of light. But know that you can manipulate a lot of things with, that, uh, with the aperture and the f-stop. So you have the lens that has the aperture. It, inside the body of the camera is the shutter and the sensor. And again, light comes in. It's a reflection. Comes into the, the lens where the aperture is. then hits the shutter, this is the shutter here, and then finally once the shutter is lifted gets to the sensor here to create your image. That's how it works in a DSLR, that's how it works in an SLT, that's how it works 
in a point and shoot. I use a DSLR because it allows me to, to show it on a larger scale. They all have some differences. For example, the point and shoot doesn't actually have an active shutter, neither does the SLT, but there's something that blocks the light or prevents the light from getting to the processor in the back of the camera. So, photography, simple. Control the light, focus the light, put it in the right spot, make it happen. 